This setup is horrible. Okay, good. This is a horrible job you're doing. Look what you did to Bull. Look okay. what you did. Caught on camera. Caught on camera. Caught on camera. Let me focus while you kill me. <laughs> Caught on camera. Killing the dog. Dog killer. Everyone in the comments. Gio's a dog killer. And she sucks at art direction. Look at this shitty ass dinner. Look at this. Who the hell puts the chicken next to the flowers? Who the hell has all this stuff? You know what's crazy? This is a lot of it I didn't even touch. It's a lot of it was already here. Don't try to change the subject, you're a dog killer. Run away, Bolt. Um. Run away. In your personal life, when you come home horny, <laughs> what's the process that you guys go through to the end result? I don't, actually don't think that has ever happened before in my life. So I think I think when um, like every person that I've dated, it's always been, um, I don't know, it's a very slow process. I think I'm very Asian American in that way. You know, like, there's a skit that, okay, so I used to be part of this theater group called um, Here and Now, and there was a skit where um, they, these two Asian people come home from a date, and there's one person sitting on this side of the couch, and then there's another person sitting on the other side of the couch, and they just went on a date. They're really into each other, you know, and they're like really far apart, and then they find like random excuses to get closer and closer and closer together, and then by the end of the skit, they're like on the floor making out half naked. I think that's kind of how my dates have always gone. And then, you know, do what I do. Let's say the first time of her, right, the, uh, you, got, you got the new chick. If you can take her home, one of the best things to do for me, from my experience, is to put a movie on, sit on the couch, let the movie play, and let your hands do all the this. If, if you're successful there, usually it leads to like that, and then usually leads to like that, and then usually leads to bedroom time. It leads to this. It leads to this. Yeah. And if you're talking about significant other, that's, that's more like, please, tonight. And that's about it. That's really, that's, that's, that's it. But who's the one begging? Huh? What are you talking about? Who's the one begging? Please, please. For either party, I think. I think for wow. boys and girls. I don't know, I think with your, with your significant other, I think, and I think a lot of everyone in this room and ha has experience and, and can say that if, once you've known someone for a long time, you've been with them for so long, like there, a certain magic dies out, and it's really hard to recapture. And it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with that. Every, I think it happens to everybody, and it's just you know like that 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 like when you get a little kid, you when you get a new toy, like it's really exciting, and you want to play with that toy all the time. But then after a, like a week or two, you're just kind of like, oh yeah, now it's just, it kind of blends in with all the other toys, and you're just like that newness is gone. Same thing, but you still like that toy. Nothing wrong. It's like Buzz Lightyear in Toy, uh, toy Story. It's raining food. Hallelujah. It's raining food. <laughs> All right, you ready? So, with your sniffing others, sometimes you gotta do it. You gotta do it. And it all depends on the scenario that you're in. So, you kind of fluctuate and, and maneuver your way to, to the freaky deaky. And it can happen anywhere. It can happen in the car, living room, kitchen, bedroom, showers. But yeah, those are examples. So with the significant other, you got the first couple months or a month or so of the honeymoon stage and stuff like that, or a few months, and you almost are doing the freaky D almost every day, and then it, you know it dies down and progresses and decreases, and that's good. That's somewhat good, somewhat not. Depends on you know how you see it, how important sex is in your relationship. So some people, sex is very important, and how sexually active you are. And sometimes sex is just normal. You, when it happens, it happens. It doesn't happen all the time. Some people don't really need it, but some people do. And it's always good to kind of learn from your significant other and see where their tensions are and if you think you relax or get pleasure, you, you cater to that and you provide. But just play it safe. Yeah. I swipe that bitch aside, run in the bed, and jack off. <laughs> 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 you move, bitch. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh, I'm the soul body. That's the movements. No. I don't know. Um, take a shower and then do the sex. Shower is good. Yeah. You want to shower after? Before. <laughs> I think shower before and after is the best. Yeah. Or during. Or during. <laughs> so just shower the whole time. Sometimes, if it's quickie style, no shower, just do it. That's true. And then shower after. But <clears throat> I don't, I don't do that movie stuff. Like all over the table, on the wall, on the kitchen. No, I like the bed. When you're with someone in the beginning, mm -hmm. it's very passionate, and like you no longer think, you just let your heart and body just go. Like whatever happens, happens. Like you're not thinking about, oh my god, people could hear us, or oh shit, I gotta be at this place in like 20 minutes. How come people could hear you? What's going on? What, what kind of noises is going on? Oh, cause you're just about to get busy, you know? And like, what does that sound like? What are the noises that? It sounds like. <laughs> it sounds like. He's hurt us. Yeah, so, so, so yeah, so in the beginning it's like that because it's just so much fire. You're just trying to explore with this person in every possible way. Cause like, you explore with them, um, like on like that romantic tip. So you guys go to a bunch of different restaurants and go to different like you do different activities together that you're fucking lazy ass would probably never do on a regular basis. Um, and I think that also translates to intimate time, where it's just like, I want to explore, and it and it just looks like that. But I then, the ball before. but then after you've gone, <laughs> but then after you've been with someone for so long, you kind of know everything about them, like I you know what their before. you know what their farts smell like, and you see when they don't take a shower, and then like you could smell their stank ass breath, and it's just like it's real, and. <laughs> A lot of that mystique and that passion, you just kind of have to work at it again. And it's not as like fire in your heart to like rip shit off. It's, it's more fire like in your in your heart to kill them. Yeah. <laughs> it's more like, hey, are you tired? No, are you? No. All right. Let's go to the gym. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. So last week, Jill was sick, right? Joe's sick too. And Casey got sick over the weekend. I'm um, under the weather. And then Casey got food poisoning last night. Later, me and Joe are gonna go to Casey's house and we're both highly allergic to cats. Imagine during the whole shoot, everyone was just yakking and sneezing and everyone has like red eyes and shitting through their pants. It's a kitty, kitty, kitty. kitty, kitty, kitty. Joe, aren't you allergic to cats? Yeah. But I don't care. Yeah. First, I was just well, I mean, looking at it and I said, fuck it, I can't take it anymore. I have to pet the baby. You were here in the kitchen. The baby. You know like, how like how like pets were like sexy and whatever they would It's my ring. Whoa. Who's that for? Gio. No way. It's, it's uh It's five cents. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big Bart, rock. Bart, Bart, Bart. It's a big rock. It's a real big rock. Starting next week. Bart is. We're starting the week after.